when you are playing measure one, two, three, four, there is a crossover of the third finger from the C on the G string, uh, yeah, uh, to the D on the D string. So even my fingers as a full grown man, um, you know, you could press both strings. Uh, that's one way that you could do it. Um, however, what I would say if you're a young player is you have to get that, that finger across very quickly from one string to the other. So I'm going to play measure four so you, you can see that happening slowly. Um, and you really don't hear any distortion in the sound. So if you're quick enough, you can get it from stepping correctly on the D string to stepping correctly on the G string, or vice versa, sorry, from uh, third finger on this, on the, on the G, that's the C, to third finger on the D. So that would be like this. So it's quick enough that you really can't tell, but definitely pay attention to that. So. That makes sense and so if you do that you know practice the string change sorry practice yeah the, the, the string change on the finger movement you will get faster at it and it will definitely make it sound smoother but that's a spot that could be tricky for a beginner or a young player so okay and so best of luck this is a beautiful waltz and i look forward to hearing you play it thanks for watching